In this video, I'm going to show you how anyone can use Springly to create beautiful Facebook ads in as little as 60 seconds without using any kind of outside software such as Photoshop or GIMP and without any kind of design skills whatsoever. So if you're like me and you've been struggling to make your Facebook ads or you're tired of paying outsourcers a lot of money to make the ads for you, Springly is going to be a breath of fresh air. First thing you need to do is add obviously open the software up on your computer it works on both Mac and on PC and then you can enter a campaign name from Teespring now here's an important note the software works with other sites other than just Teespring so if you're using one of the other popular sites out there and you're wondering if this will work for you be sure and ask me before you purchase and I'll be sure and do a test to make sure it will work so for this example I found a campaign over on Teespring that I did like and it was called teespring.com slash Seahawks. So I'm just going to type in Seahawks and I'm going to let Springly pull back these shirts. It's going to pull back all the different styles as well as the different color shirts that are available for that campaign. Now I'm going to go over to my templates and I can either select one of the 17 existing templates in Springly or I can select from the templates I built myself using Springly. And I'll show you how to do that in just a few minutes. For now, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the default templates. And you can see here it loads up a template with three placeholder shirts. Now, these shirts happen to be t-shirts, but that does not mean you can't use hoodies. Let me show you real quick how this works. We're going to go over to the shirts tab. I'm going to select T number one with the radio button here. And I'm going to select this one. Sticks it in the ad, takes the white background out, and all that stuff. All this stuff is difficult to do. Next, I'm going to select T number two, and I'm going to make it a hoodie. You see it pops in the ad. Same thing, no white background. Now I'm going to select T number three and use the t shirt. Now I can leave my ad just like that if I want to, or I can continue to customize it. But I'm going to go over to the library and I'm going to show you that you can actually upload other images. So, for example, if you have shirts that are on a custom site that does not work with Springly, you can upload them right into the software and you can either use pictures of yourself or friends like I have here or pictures of products. I'll go more into those types of ads at the end of the video. The last thing you can do with the shirts themselves is actually add a glow effect. So for example, I can select T number one and I can select show glow. You see this black shadow came around the shirt. I can change that color though to anything I want. For example, it could be blue. I can make it really, really thin or really, really thick. You know, it just depends on what I'm wanting to accomplish there. Now me personally, I do like the black shadow. You can also use white. I think the white sometimes can be a little bit distracting but you can do a little white like that or you can do green or you know just whatever you feel like whatever you're in the mood for for this example I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use black just because I like the way it looks and I'm gonna make it 15 on the scale there now I'm gonna go to T number two I'm gonna do the same thing make it 15 make it show and T number three same thing now we've got shadow on all three of our shirts I'm going to go over to the backgrounds and I can select from one of the built-in backgrounds. There's quite a few in there. I can upload my own backgrounds that Springly will save for future use. I can use a solid color background. For example, I can go all red or all green maybe. Or I can use a gradient and I can go from say red to black. For this example, I am going to go ahead and use a brick background. I just like that background. I'm going to go over to my borders. I'm going to add a border. I can also hide the border by unchecking the box. But we're going to add a border. We're going to make it green. And I'm going to, you can use the mouse wheel or the little arrows here to make your border thin or thick. You can see it gets really thick or anywhere you want it. Okay, so we'll make this one 13 pixels wide. Next, I'm going to go to the price tags. And I can use the built in price tags or I can upload my own or again, I can hide them. For this example, I am going to use a $39.95 price tag. I'm going to make it green. And you see here there's a library where you can upload your own. And badges, same thing. I can upload my own. I can choose from a badge already in there or I can hide the badge. I'm going to choose this one. And for buttons, we've got several buttons. You can upload your own buttons as well or you can do something special with the buttons and actually create your own. If you have a blank image such as this one here, you can upload it to the software. You can go over to text. You can write your text out show text, make it any color you want, any size you want, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. I'm going to pull this box over. See there I've made my own button. 
Now, if I just really love this ad, I can go ahead and I can export it and it's ready for use with Facebook. We'll just simply name it Springly Demo Ad 2. We'll save it to our downloads. And when I open it up, it's the standard size 1200 by 628 or 627, I believe. And there it is, it's ready to go. Now, maybe I just love this ad so much that I want to be able to use it again and again and again. But I don't want to have to go in there and select the different badges and all that. Well, I can save the ad. I can save the template. Click the Save button, and that automatically adds it to the template library. We talked about that earlier. Remember, you got the built-in templates and also your own library of templates that you've created. We just created a template. That's what we just did. Now, if we end up with, you know, two, these are, by the way, different templates I've created. But if we have a template we created that we don't want to save and we saved it by accident, we can always delete it from the software. Okay? But again, you can rearrange those shirts. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff with the software. For example, in this one, you see the shirts are arranged in a stair-stepped uh, order and very, very simple to do. All right? The other thing you can do with the software, let's say, for example, that you are building an ad, but you're not doing t-shirts and you want to do an ad for your own product. Well, the good news is Springly will work for that as well. You just have to get a little bit creative. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to build an ad that has nothing to do with t-shirts whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and, and click use default down here. Now I'm going to go over to my shirts tab and I'm going to upload my own shirt. But instead of uploading a shirt, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload an image. And my friend Seth had a launch recently, so he had an image on hand. I'm going to use it right here. And in fact, let me delete this so that I can show you how this would work if I didn't have his image in there. I could simply go upload shirt and I would go to where I saved that image at right here and I would upload it into the software. And let's change this. So I would change it to the right picture. You can see it here. We'll put him down here. And the picture he sent me had some white background so that's the reason it looks like that. Now I'm going to hide shirt number two and I'm going to hide shirt number three. Next up, I'm going to go over to my backgrounds, and since that's got a little bit of white in it, I'm going to use a white background. I'm going to go over to my borders. I'm going to add a nice red border. Go over to my price tags, but instead of using, actually, I'm going to go badges. And actually, let's use price tags. Instead of using price tag, I'm just going to upload an image, and it's going to be a screenshot I took of Seth's product. So we'll grab that. I'll stick it in there. Okay, we'll put this over here for a second and for badges we'll do this I'll show it and for buttons we'll do this show it and see what we can do with this so let's take this product let's make it bigger we'll put it just like that take this button and let's scale it up we'll put it down right here And then we'll take the special offer and we will rotate it just a little bit. There we go. And actually, I'm going to move this book over a little bit more. I'm going to center this button by clicking up here. And I think that's going to be too close to Seth, so let's move it back over this way a little bit. We'll move Seth over a little bit. Put it right here. All right, so now we have an ad that has nothing to do with t-shirts whatsoever. This could be a, a product that you own yourself, or this could even be an affiliate product that you're promoting. I'm going to go ahead and export the ad. I'm going to save it as Facebook Demo Ad. I'm going to save it to my downloads. Save. And we'll replace it. I don't, I don't mind about that, actually. Let's go in here and see if we can find it. Facebook Demo Ad. Here it is. Open it up. And there you have it. There's the ad that we just created using Springly that has nothing to do with t-shirts whatsoever. So